Hello everyone. So here is another question from chapter number two, polynomial class ninth. So if you are having the new NCRT book, then it belongs to exercise 2.3, question number five. But if you are having the old NCRT book, then it belongs to exercise 2.4. But the question five remains the same. Here we are doing the second part of this factorization question. The very first thing that you need to do before doing anything else is to check whether the polynomial expression is written in the form of standard form or not. So you can see the first term is having a degree or the power of three. The second term is having a power of two. The third, next term is having a power of one. And the last term is already a constant term means X is having a power of zero. So it is already written in standard form. So we don't need to uh, rearrange the terms right now. So it is having a degree of three. So it will going to have three factors and three zeros. So let's do it. The very first thing after checking whether it is written in standard form or not is to find out the constant term. As you can see, the constant term is 5. So we have to find out all the factors of 5. So we will write down the factors of 5 are plus minus 1 and plus minus 5. Okay. So we have to check with both plus minus 5. Exactly 5 k factors are 1 plus minus 1 and plus minus 5. So what we need to do is to check whether the polynomial, let me do it px is equals to x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5. I'm going to put the value of x plus 1 and minus 1, then plus 5, then minus 5 in order to find out which one of them is actually the zero of the polynomial. So first of all, I'm going to put, uh, let's say I'm going to put plus 1. Okay, let's then check it out. Plus 1, minus 3, minus 9. It's plus 1, not minus 1 minus 5. So 1 raised to the power 3, that is 1 cube is actually 1, minus 3, 1 raised to the power 1 is actually 1, minus 9, minus 5. So it is coming out to be minus 1, minus 3, minus 9, minus 5. As you can see, uh, 1 is only positive term and other terms are already negative. So we will do it 5 plus 3, 8 and 8 plus 9, 17. So it is coming out to be minus 16, which is not coming out to be zero. So definitely one is not the zero of the polynomial. Now we will try it again. And uh, with uh, P, uh, with X is equals to minus one, right? So let's do it one more time. So we will check whether this is the zero or not. Minus three, minus one raised to the power two, minus nine, minus one, minus five. So it is coming out to be minus one, minus three, into plus 1, minus, minus, plus 9, minus 5, okay? So let's do it. So it is coming out to a minus 1, minus 3, plus 9, minus 5. So you can see there is only one positive term, which is plus 9, and other terms like minus 1, minus 3, and minus 3 are negative. So we will add first of all them. So it is coming out to be 5 plus 3 is 8, and 8 plus 1 is 9. So it is minus 9 plus 9 coming out to be 0. So what we have to do is to write that minus 1, is the zero of px minus one is the zero of px and we all write all the zeros with x is equals to something so we can move minus one on the left hand side so it becomes x plus one is equals to zero so we can say this is actually the gx which is also called the factor of the polynomial so we all know how to find out one factor at least one factor of this polynomial so right now we got that x plus one is actually the factor of uh, this polynomial x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5. As I have already told you in the beginning that this is actually a cubic polynomial and cubic polynomial are having three factors. We just got to know about one factor, but there are still two factors which are hidden and we have to find out them. So what I am going to do is long division. I'm going to give uh, divide this given polynomial with x plus 1 so that we could be able to find out the other two remaining polynomial. So what I'm going, I'm going to divide gx sorry i am going to divide px with the gx so what is px by the way i have already written here px is actually the given polynomial so let's divide px by gx so x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5 i'm going to divide it by x plus 5 so how i can do it so first of all you have to understand what you have to multiply with x so that you will get x cube Yes, you are right. If you are saying x square, then you are right. If you are saying something else, or if you are saying you don't know how to calculate this, then there is a trick also. First of all, you have to take the first term, that is x cube. So you will divide x cube with the first term of this dx, that is x, and do it. 
and you will get x square, right? So this is how we can also find out if you don't know directly how to do that, right? I'm going to erase it because that is not required. Aja, one more thing that you need to keep in your mind that gx and px, before dividing, you should make sure that gx and px should be in standard form. If they are not in standard form, then make sure you should do it. So this is done. Let's move to the next one. First of all, I am going to multiply x square with x. So I'm going to get x cube. Then I multiply x square with 1. Then I got x square. Make sure you have to write the terms having the same power under them. So x square plus x square. So it is coming out to be plus x square. Now we have to subtract. And you know very well, when whenever we have to subtract, we have to change the signs. So this is minus, this is minus. Because the sign earlier here used to be plus 1. And you have to oppose them. So this cancel out completely. Minus 3x square plus x square. Here it is minus sign. Here it is a minus sign. Earlier it was plus, but right now this is minus sign, which is valid right now. So minus minus become plus. So it is minus 4x square. So it's done. Now we will copy down everything. Now you have to understand. We have to multiply x with such a number that it will give us minus 4x square. So I will multiply it with minus 4x, right? So if I multiply, then I get minus 4x square. Minus 4x into plus 1. What it coming out to be? It is minus 4x, correct? So let's do it plus one and uh, this is plus and this is plus. It will cancel out. Now try to understand here it is minus 9x. Here it is plus 4x. So minus plus is minus. But sign will be of the bigger one. So minus 5x minus 5. Once again, I have to multiply this x with such a number that the answer coming out to be minus 5x. So I hope you have guessed it right. Minus 5. So I'm going to multiply minus 5 with x plus 1. So it is coming out to be minus x and then minus 5. Change the sign, plus, plus, it is coming out to be 0 and everything done. Now, you know, remainder is coming out to be 0. It simply confirmed that x plus 1 is actually the factor of x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5. Now, we have to split out. We Just look at this quadratic equation, right? This is actually a quadratic equation. We have to uh, split it, use the splitting the middle term to find out the remaining two factors. So, let's do it. x square minus 4x minus 5. So what you have to do is to find out the two numbers. First of all, x square coefficient is actually 1. 1 is the coefficient of x square and the constant term is actually minus 5. Forget about the minus plus sign. You just have to remember the numbers. Multiply the constant term and the coefficient of x square. And you know what the answer is? 5. Then you have to look at the sign before the constant term. This is actually the minus. So you have to write down minus. And uh, actually, I'm trying to teach you how to split the middle term, right? And if you already knew, then you know how to do that. So first of all, I have to find two numbers such that their product is 5. And uh, after subtracting those numbers, we get this term. That is 4. So I hope you got it. We have to find out two numbers, uh, which on multiply gives 5. And after subtracting those two numbers, the answer coming out to be 4. And I hope you have guessed it, right? The numbers are 5 and 1. If you multiply 5 and 1, answer is 5. If you subtract 1 from 5, the answer is 4. So let's do it. So x square minus something x uh, minus 5. So the sign will be of the sign, exact same sign, which is before the constant term. So minus, and there are two numbers, 5 and 1. We will write the bigger number first and the smaller number later on. So x square minus 5x. I'm going to open the bracket. Minus 5x minus minus plus x minus 5. Okay, don't forget to put the equals to sign. So I can, I can take x common. So it is coming out to be x minus 5 plus 1 because nothing coming out to be common then 1 is always there x minus 5 as you can see these two terms are equal it simply means we uh, means we are on the right track so it is coming out to be like this so these are the two factors i hope these are the two factors and one factor is already there that is x plus 1 so these are the three factors of this polynomial or should i say cubic polynomial right so let's write them 800 okay so so I'm looking at, therefore, x plus 1, earlier factor, and these two factors, x minus 5 and x plus 1 are the, are the three factors of px. So this is how we factorize a cubic polynomial. I hope all of you got it. Thank you very much.